what are we what are we chatting about? What's going on? Um, so I mean, this is just like an introductory. Mm-hmm. Um, we've both never been on podcasts. Have you ever been on a podcast? I haven't. I do know of a few and out in Salt Lake and they're they're called like the pod immunity. Um I do have friends that were just on U92, like in their YouTube it went up yesterday. And then I do know of a couple other ones that are really cool. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be good to like start one and and just see how it goes and what what direction we go into. That's dope. Yeah. Super local. Like this is gonna be just centralized, um, local. I've never done podcasting. Yeah. Um, I've actually, I mean, I've listened to some co- podcasts here and there, but I just got into listening to podcasts like a few months ago. Cause for my work, I drive around a lot. Yeah. Like a lot of my, my time at work is in the work vehicle, driving place to place. And so I, instead of listening to music all the time, mm-hmm. I just started listening to podcasts. And I fucking love it. Like I fell in love with a lot of good podcasts. Um, there's some local ones that are pretty good that you've turned me on to. Uh, so it'll be kind of cool to be in that uh, pod community or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think I think that is the new way to like communicate. I don't know, like, okay, before music was like, you know, you could you understand it. I'm sure like the younger generation understands it, but mm-hmm. there's nothing really like you know messaging in there. So it's like I feel like yeah, talking, just straight talking, just getting the brass tacks. Like that's how you know things are transported. Uh, you know, into other people's minds. Uh, I don't know. Cause when I was listening to a podcast going to work, it was better than music because mm-hmm. I don't know. I was just, I was smiling cause I understood like their point of view, what they had, you know, going on and with music, you know, it's always just a vibe. Right. So you're just like, yeah, I'm having like fun and I, like I'm, I'm nodding my head and stuff like that, but what am I really getting out of it? Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. And um, that's what I like about it too. And, and I think it is, um, especially like you think about media today, right? Yeah. Like kids watch YouTube. Kids will listen to their artists like talk and shut it down podcasts. And of course, like music's always going to be there. Mm-hmm. It's um, a lot of, I guess, smart people like on in books and shit like that that I've read and, and yeah. uh, interviews that I've uh, seen with like a lot of people who um, have done shit with their lives. Basically, they say that music's like chewing gums for the ears. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's different flavors out there, but after the flavor is gone, like mm-hmm. you're just discarded. You're onto the next pack. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, that's true. And it's not teaching you anything. Yeah. Like it's literally just there for entertainment. You know what I mean? That's true. So I think like podcast, uh, vlogs, you know, all that, just even reaction videos on, on um, YouTube, like my son will watch that shit and he loves it because it's like real to him. Like it's a yeah, person giving their true. response to something that he also has a response to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like podcasting is kind of like that too. Like you, you're, you're given your experience reaction plus just your input on situations in a real manner, you know, where it's not scripted or not on a show um, and shit like that. So it's, it's, it's the new wave, bro. It's like, that's just how it's going to be. I think in the future, there's going to be a lot less written shit mm-hmm. as far as like shows and, 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 uh, and stuff we were used to as kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, Think of a uh, media when we were when we were young. You know, we grew up in the '90s, mm-hmm. and literally it was just TV shows, music, movies. You know, maybe like the occasional comic books and shit like that. Yeah, but it was all just stuff that like has a set formula. You know, true. <laughs> and and talk shows were for like adults. Yeah, like yeah, only yeah. adults were watching fucking like Jay Leno and you know. Uh, whatever Ricky Lake and shit that was popular in yeah. the 90s that was just for adults yeah. and like shit re- adults related to do you think um uh, do you think certain art or like not even art but like yeah how you said certain you know ages appeal to certain things um do you think this is like one of the younger generations like to be involved in media now like I don't know like I'll listen to older music like you know like Marvin Gaye or something yeah. now and I'm like wow this is like it's it's even better to me right now yeah but like i feel like back then it was better to them too like but it wasn't good for the kids i don't know what do you, do you think the kids were into that back then but like the kids are into the stuff now oh, but, shit, that's a good like, point you know what i mean no that's a really good point because i don't know i think um yeah like let's just take like marvin Gaye for instance right mm-hmm. just put the focal point on him 
very soulful music yeah and a lot of adult content yeah so yeah. i do think that it was just adults that were vibing right, that shit and right. they, they used it for you know whatever it was uh when it first came out like you had to put yourself in the There's 70s shit. or yeah. whatever like it was literally just for when they're hanging out having like a glass of whatever you know mm. whatever your poison is yeah. <laughs> and um you know doing some straight up love making <laughs> and stuff like that and kids didn't listen to it like it was probably on and the parents loved it yeah but i don't think it was like influential to them to be like wow this is amazing or this this really this really resonates with me because they were doing kids shit yeah if i'm thinking i was a kid back then like yeah i'd probably be like oh they love this so much like i want to try to understand it or like you know mm-hmm. you know and then they try to you know like grow up and like you know but i don't yeah i don't think it resonated to no. the kids so like yeah it probably reminds them like when they got older like yeah. that, those songs reminded them of being in home yeah and their mom or their dad or both of them yeah. being there listening to it you know what i mean so mm. created that memory so that's uh that's what they carried with them but fuck i mean you gotta think kids in the 70s they were just outside like they were just true their their whole fucking lives revolved around what they were doing that day yeah. right bikes and shit like that you know yeah i was thinking about that um it's funny that this came up uh just the other day i was, I was thinking about like my son spends most of his time, he's 10 years old, he spends most of his time online. Yeah. Like most of his time. And it's be, and part of that is because like we, we're in an apartment complex and there's not a lot of kids and the kids that are there are just like not into the same shit he's into. Mm-hmm. So he just spends a lot of time online with kids that are into stuff he's into like gaming. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's his life. Like, mm-hmm. And then school, right? Yeah. Um, so the social like i don't know the social fucking um atmosphere that he's grown up in is like i got my friends at school and i got my online friends you know yeah. we're like even thinking about when we grew up in in the 90s and shit there were some video games and stuff like that but like online wasn't as it is today yeah like, yeah you'd probably have to yeah. go into a, a yahoo chat room yeah. <laughs> and pretend to be somebody yeah or like yeah, yeah you you your friends online were never your friends but no they were just people yeah. you fucking talk shit to yeah talk shit <laughs> yeah. to or just like yeah, just, yeah. I, I know i was in a i was in fake relationships at a young age <laughs> yeah. in yahoo chat rooms <laughs> dude like yeah. it's so fucking funny like i don't think i got into chat rooms until i was like in my teenage years yeah when i <laughs> but it was that's so funny because it was basically it just turned into this place where me and my friends went to to talk shit yeah and I like that. you know yeah. like fucking try to ruin somebody's day like just <laughs> saying the fucking stupidest shit to them or trying to 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 con them into like thinking we're a chick or something yeah <laughs> and shit like that the only, like, only oh thing closest God. to today is probably just talking shit on like uh a madden game or, or yeah you know, call or of duty something or something like that, like that. Hey, fuck you, where's your address right. or come over yeah. here like in yeah. grand theft auto or something but no it was it was definitely more anonymous so it was it was kind of a little wild too like yeah if yeah. you think about it i was probably 11 and i would i and it could have been a dude on the other <laughs> end thinking about it right now right, but no yeah. it, to me it was 19 year old chick i said yeah. i was 17 or something yeah. and we were having a conversation like we were in a relationship and the whole time was some fucking fat dude and he was like 45 years old nah, and- <laughs> that. I, the, I, I don't believe trying to that. get some weird kicks <laughs> <you know? laughs> And that old no. fucking six bit JPEG that took a long time to load, like you get the top no. half of it, and then the whole picture comes in. It's just no. a wiener. There was romance Boom. there, so it was something was real about it. You remember that it, shit? It really? reminds me of a uh, the Black Mirror, and uh, this is, sounds super gay, and I don't mean it to sound that way, but like the video games, it's like oh, you're yeah. a different person. Yeah. So like you have a different type of. You have feelings as a different person, which is kind of crazy, but I think it's possible. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, the one where he, uh, and his <laughs> homeboy started getting down in virtual reality. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> what the what hell? a fucking crazy show. Yeah. Did, have they even made any new episodes since the pandemic? I think they're gonna. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna. But... We fucking all lived a Black Mirror fucking episode <laughs> in 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah they, they got to come up with some even crazier shit yeah because it was crazy for the time like you think like i think when i watched it, it was like 2019 yeah right when it came yeah. out and that episode a lot of people talked about um that one episode with the the, the chick from jurassic world where she's social, like the social um, economy ranking shit yeah, yeah. I, that's and that's i think that's what do you think about that because i think i'm kind of on board with it a little bit um because they're doing it in china right yeah 
and you know money is probably going to be paperless and you know everything's going to be through the phone or digital um do you think people should have a ranking or a rating uh because like there's some based, app, on, there's some, based on their like social media like ba- maybe everything in general like how they communicate with the world or something like that because it's like you know you have people with credit you know that's right, right. that's for finance but like social credit like there's people who are assholes and like you know they could disguise it but like say they get the job and then their asshole comes out later oh gosh so it's like but because they're yeah it's like yeah i don't know i think there's because there's always something to everything right like yeah uh but i don't know i'm i'm kind of on board with it right as of right now like I think people should have some social credit because like back then you had to preserve your reputation mm-hmm. and right now people could like make their reputation a persona or something like that right. you know so what do you think i don't know uh immediately my thought is i'd be fucked because i only <laughs> have like 300 friends no no no, <laughs> no, no. I'd, be like, and I'd be the bottom of the barrel no, I'd be like yeah it's, fucking on the corner begging for likes no, like i'd be it's not about in rags right. and like no, hey, no. fucking like my post so I can get a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like actual rating. Like, a, like I trust yeah. Yelp. So, uh-huh. like, a, a Yelp. Oh, like people rate you. Yeah, rate you for the interactions oh, okay. that you've had. And uh-huh. I mean, of course, like, but it could be, like, not anonymous rating. So, it's like, oh, like, say if we don't know each other yeah. and, like, we interacted and, like, I rated you. Like, if I'm rating a ton of people bad who are actually good, right. my rating would go down because I'm a fucking hater or something oh, like that. Oh, got you, know? you, yeah. But how would that work? Like, how what what does the rating do? I I have to watch the episode again because I remember no, it. I don't I, have to watch it, but, like... I remember the details. Like, what, what, yeah. how, like, let's say, how would my rating affect, like, me buying a car or some shit like that? Yeah, I don't think it would... Uh, I don't think it would actually affect finances, uh, like, buying a car. Um, I think it would just more personally affect uh yeah like your way of living if and that's kind of so like yeah like i said getting a job or like being invited to certain places or like you know um i don't know because like don't you don't we use social credit anyways like uh like just to an extent like yeah i mean we have like family we we have family members like oh he's an asshole but like i'm stupid invited but like no like if if people know off the bat like this is like the creme de la creme Maybe there's like incentives for those people or something like that. It's like, you know, you get extra, you know, something. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. It kind of sounds like where we're at right now. <laughs> like people put a lot of emphasis on that shit, you know? Yeah. Um, I feel like just right now it's ruled. I mean, everything is ruled by like power. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, I don't know. I think there's power in like having solid or like stand up people. Yeah, but for it's sure. Like, how do you? Yeah, how would you gauge them other than just yeah. like people word of mouth? Like, oh yeah, that's a good person, or do they just praise people just because they have something? Are they right. able to give opportunity or something like that? So uh, I don't know. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, who knows? In the next twenty five years, that's probably how the president's going to get picked. Is how many like followers they have yeah. instead of like electoral college is going to be like, well, hey. Fucking look at their social media. Like, how many how many people does he have on this platform? That platform? That platform? Like, hey, he's got the most influence. Fucking put him in the Oval Office. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, not about following, mm-hmm. just about rating. But yeah, yeah. that was just a well, thought. I, I think that's yeah, that's a good point because um, a lot of businesses now look for good ratings. Like, they want to have that like, presence online. Like, yeah. they want to be a five star reviewed. Whether it's Yelp, Facebook, Google, or whatever. Yeah, it's vital I mean? to business. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. So, the, so if they change, if they if that changed, that dynamic changed to people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I see where you're coming from, and, and it, I mean, shit, it could happen. Like everything's online now, and everything's about like your social media presence and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, do do you feel in today's world like you feel like everybody's kind of a business? If that makes sense, I don't know. To an extent, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's always kind of been that way, mm-hmm. but more more so for influential people like athletes and yeah, just like actors and stuff like that. Like they're basically they were always their own business, you know. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, it, it kind of is. Do like you think people economy. choose not to do like podcasts or more things like that because technically they could ruin? their quote-unquote business or reputation or say, yeah. some, say some dumb <laughs> shit or something oh yeah so like yeah yeah it's like i don't want to put myself out there because 
fuck, I don't know if I'm going to offend somebody or like right. if I'm even correct in my stances or something. Yeah, like that. that's, I mean, that's very true. I think, well, there's, there's people, I think the people who think that way yeah. are pretty smart. Mm. Like some people would say, oh, well, you know, they're like being held back, you know, or they're holding yeah. themselves back or they're in their comfort zone, whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. shit they want to use. But I think those people are smart because they have a sense of, well, I'm thinking about outside of myself externally because yeah, right? a, yeah. a really dumb person, ignorant person <laughs> will just, oh, I'm going to fucking do it and do it. Yeah. And then they say something and they, they don't know it's offensive because they're ignorant. Yeah. And then they're like, why the fuck's everybody attacking me? Like, I just wanted to say this and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think people who, I think like a lot of times um, when I meet somebody who says that they have like social anxiety or something, oh. I think that, you know what? They're yeah, actually yeah. pretty smart. Yeah. 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 They're thinking outside of themselves. You yes, know what I mean? yes, yes. And a person who doesn't have social anxiety, they're either they got over it, mm-hmm. and they under, and they they've read enough, or they know enough, they have enough knowledge to understand that hey, that's just going to be you know a reaction, or these could be possible reactions. Yeah. And then you got the stupid fuckers that just say it because they don't know, they don't have that sense. They're they're just in their own box. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just like everything inside their own little box. Is like this is all that there is, so I'm just gonna fucking do it and say it. You know? Do you think it's so small, like they're, we'll say they're boxed or something? It's like, oh, I'm just gonna interact with the world, and they'll just either like it. I don't know, like they don't think of a consequence or something like that. Or <laughs> yeah. Like they don't. Okay, think about like, <laughs> think about the animal kingdom, right? Yeah. Okay, think about a bird, or not. I don't know, just an animal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like let's say a tiger or some shit. You think about one that is like always on the attack. Yeah. And then you think of the one that waits, mm-hmm. right? So the one that's always on the attack, like he's going to maybe catch one one day, like maybe catch his prey. Yeah. But he's like exerting so much energy. And it's because he's not as smart as the one that just waits. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm going to wait till this fucking gazelle or whatever I eat yeah. is tired or is sleeping or doesn't suspect me at all. Yeah. And then I'm going to attack, yeah. right? Yeah. That's how kind of it is. Huh. That's, well, that's how I think it kind of is. Like you got the one that's like, whatever in their brain they just don't have the genetics and they're just like i'm gonna keep fucking attacking because my instincts tell me to just attack this thing until i get it yeah and then he gets too tired and he goes home fucking hungry and then you got the one that's like well you know i kind of all right i've seen him do this i've seen this this gazelle whatever the fuck it is Mm -hmm. like he's been running all day you know what i mean like he hasn't had enough berries (laughs) to eat so i know he's gonna get tired at some point so i'm just gonna like chill over here in the bushes and then as soon as i see him let his guard down would come out and get his ass you know yeah Huh. The same thing with humans. Yep. That's it's the same thing. So uh two things. So like uh how we perceive our ourselves we'll kind of go into, but like do you think that the ones that are just even trying, they could even be running in place or like let's say a lion, right? Like yeah. I don't even think the lions really hunt for their own food. The lionesses do it or something like that, I've heard. But okay. uh but anyways, it's like you could be exerting a lot of energy, but like it looks good. Right. And you know, it probably you probably will like gain I don't even know if you gain, you will gain experience, but you'll grant gain, you know, like let's say muscles, let's put, let's right, do right. Uh, uh, humans. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're going to gain something, but like, uh, it's not, it looks good. Does that make sense? If it's like more physical type of a thing, like you, you, it looks like you're, you're working, but you're kind of running in place or working hard on yourself and you're like, uh, probably, um, mentally, you know, exhausted or something like that. But like mm-hmm. people are attracted to that because they're like, Oh, I, that motivates me because they're actually doing something, but they're not efficient enough. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Um, it reminds me of, um, I think I read it in either a book or I heard it on uh, somebody's like podcast or something. But they were saying, people who are like, I'm on the grind, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, you can only grind so much because if you grind yeah. too long, yeah. whatever you're grinding is going to fucking turn to dust. Yeah. Oh, sh- so you can't keep grinding it. <laughs> you got to yes. have a fucking, you know, you got to know what you're grinding it to. That's like, are you grinding a sharp point? Yeah. You know, or are you grinding to like, you're grinding a lump of coal to get to the diamond? Yes. You know what I mean? But if you keep grinding, yeah. you're like, I'm fucking grinding. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're grinding that diamond's gone, like, baby. Uh, it's gone. Like, shh, it's dust now. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, like I have nothing to grind with anymore. And think know? about the word, like, yeah, even grind, like grinding is like you're yeah. grinding my gears or like sometimes, you know, it has to be either like lubricate or like, yeah, you have to have something because yeah. grinding, that's like detriment. Right. detrimental like if it's not you know yeah like you said it's yeah. going towards something or, if you're if you don't know what or, you're grinding <laughs> for like you're gonna grind yourself into the fucking ground baby yeah you know so yeah, yeah. like that's just that and that's the importance of like 
having some self-discovery yeah you know um i know a lot of time in my life like i just i had a, a pretty good like work ethic or yeah. like i you know didn't want to quit and just like yeah. did shit because i was like oh, i can't give up because i'm gonna be i'm not gonna have this or i'm not gonna have that you know what i mean yeah but i didn't have a, a set path like i didn't have like a okay i'm doing this to get to this yeah right i didn't have that goal yeah. right yeah. and a lot of people just <clears throat> go through life like that yeah. they're just doing it they're just on the fucking grind are they doing and, it because they that's what they're told like yeah. oh you know grind to get money yep. but okay you could grind to get money but that's all you're going to get is that set amount exactly. of money like yep. you're just keep, yeah at a job like you're just like you're, you're just doing the cog. same thing yeah and it, the fucked up thing about like um uh, like work for instance right yeah uh like you see po- people post a lot about their work sometimes like whether they hate it or they had a good day or they're coming up for a promotion or whatever like that mm-hmm. and you're getting a set wage yeah right and some days are a lot harder than other days. And you know, this oh, like yeah. from your, your yeah. work too, right? Yeah. So like you're getting paid the same amount every single day. Yeah. And some days are fucking brutal for whatever job people do. Right. True. Bad customers. Um, maybe there's like a person working at like an assembly line and, and they're behind. And so that day is just particularly rough. Right. And they're making instead of like, let's say instead of 20 tables, they're making 35 tables because they're fucking behind from the two days prior. Right. Right. Guess what? You're making the same fucking wage for that day, yeah. you know. And the but the fucked up thing is the company <laughs> you made more tables that day. Yeah. They're technically making more money that day. Yeah. Because instead of selling twenty tables, they're like, "Fuck, we just sold thirty tables in a in a day, and we're getting more money, and you're getting the same fucking wage." Yeah. But people don't know that until yeah. they know it. Yeah, that's you know? true. You right. don't know what you don't know. <laughs> yes, type yes. Of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that quote when I first heard it, uh-huh. and it was a friend who actually said it. Um, I was on their Zoom call, and he's like, you know, people don't know what they don't know. Yeah. And it was like, oh shit, like that's true. How could I know I don't know until I know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> exactly. Oh man, that's good. Yeah. Um, I I saw just like a thumbnail though. It's like um, it said something to the effect of like. You don't know what you want because you probably already have it. So like, um, if, if, yeah, do you think, cause a lot of people, they don't know what they want to do or they like, you know, or they just don't know what they want, but it's like, you probably maybe are already content with what you have or you already, you know, you're already right. obtained. So it's like, yeah, either how do you get to the other point to where it's like, no, I want this. I want to be focused to, you know, go right. another level. Or is the contentment, you know, okay, I guess, or, or were they, maybe they could have even been trapped in that contentment where it's like, yeah, to think like, no, that's all you need. You know, you're happy right. and they are happy, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, I think that's a, a very valid thought to, to have. Yeah. And it's a lot, I don't know. It's just like, I mean, it's subjective, of course, yeah. like it's going to vary towards, you know, different people, mm-hmm. but it's like. Yeah, you have like people who do make a lot of money, but they can be like, you know, hyper manic or something like that. Yeah, and for sure. Like, you know, less sleep, more work, more stress. Can't like, you know, relieve that stress mm-hmm. unless it's like something fucking, you know, <laughs> yeah. alcohol, pills, yeah, whatever. Or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's always to each their own. Yeah. But, yeah. but it, and that goes back into um, just having like knowing what you're doing it for. Yeah. Like you have to have a, a for or why. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can be, you can fucking like look at like I don't know, look at income as like a boat, right? Mm. You could have somebody who's doing a job that's making like only a certain wage, yeah. and they're on like a rowboat, right? You can only take you so far. You're gonna get out yeah. and get tired. That's and you're true. Like, Fuck! Now I gotta try to find some other way to get this to row. And then you got motherfuckers on the speedboat <laughs> that are just like, hey, I you know whatever job I'm making. 150 an hour or whatever yeah. like that i'm on a fucking speed i'm going yeah. out to the ocean baby yeah but the whole time they're speeding because they they're getting the all this shit they don't have time to stop and look at the shit that the people yeah. on the robot can see oh like people are when they get tired they can like look Dang. and be like man look at this like eat like this seagull over here yeah. or whatever if and, like, they're not constantly yeah. working too yeah. hard exactly it's yep. due but with yeah. the robo yeah you know what i mean man yeah. and it's crazy how like life um it just re- everything relates to something like you could just I don't know. I, this might sound stupid as because this is what I came up with like literally last night. It's like if you're like squeezed, uh, like think of a gogurt. I know this is okay, stupid, yeah. but okay. If you, if you squeeze <laughs> from the bottom, yeah. And this, this might sound stupid, but if you squeeze it, then, you know, you could go up. But like 
I don't know, like if you're like not all the way full or something like that, I don't know. It's like if you squeeze it and you could go down too, but like, I don't know. It's it just, there's different relations to different things. Like that's why sayings are so important. And like, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like formulas mm -hmm. without being formulas, if that makes any sense. It's like, yeah, like every, like how the sun rises and sun sets, how right. gradually like in life, everything is gradually. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, everything's relative. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, yeah, I just want a go-gurt now. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a go-gurt a long Don't time. Don't get any go-gurts from Costco, please. Like, it's, What's wrong with the go-gurts from Costco? They're, uh, it's only like, they say they're flavored, but it's like a white, only white what color. And it's, are they like white? Are they they're like no, they're blue supposed to red? be blue. They're supposed to be pink or purple something. But like the Costco ones, it says it's berry, <laughs> but it's white, just a white and it's yogurt. just no flavor. It's just yeah. plain yogurt. Yeah, they they're they're tricking people out so there. So like, yo play, is it yo play that makes those? I don't know. So it yo probably play is. is like, hey, we got these fucked up yogurts here. Like, you sell shit in bulks. Can we just yeah. sell it to you? <laughs> they're like, yeah, fuck yeah. We'll fucking sell it to the Costco members because they don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's the color tricking my mind. But no, it's 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 a different flavor. Don't buy it from Costco. Uh, I get I get uh I get my kids eat gogurts, but I haven't had like a gogurt myself in I don't know how long. And I used it's, to fucking love gogurts. Do you remember the tricks? Yeah. Um, the tricks, yeah, the tricks. Yogurts or whatever yogurts, the gogurts are like good. the yeah, those are fucking bomb. Uh the Flintstones push pop. Yeah, the uh, tricks push pop was good too. Oh, the tricks one? I think there was one. Yeah. yeah. The okay. Push pops were the shit. You remember that? Like, I don't even. The ice cream man still kind of is a thing. I there was one ice cream man that showed up probably like four weeks ago. Really? And I was just, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, but yeah I was. Yeah, it's like, but no kids. <laughs> I mean, we have kids like diagonal over here, but yeah, there was no kids. So that's crazy. I would feel weird if I went inside after during mowing the lawn yeah. to get a dollar or something. Like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream fucking truck. I haven't I, seen one in so long, but it was a common occurrence. Yeah, up. it was. I loved it. Was it. A like, great thing. You hear that fucking sound, you know the the fucking yeah. ice cream noise thing. Yeah, and then you just like, oh fuck, I got to get a dollar. Something. Where the fuck is a dollar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking going in, mom. And you're always thinking, ice like, cream truck. you're thinking he's gonna leave, but he, that's his life. That's his he's, he's gonna slow he's the gonna, fuck he's down. Gonna he's gonna roll like the president, like, they, penny. like JFK yeah. was rolling, just all slow and shit before he got shot. Otherwise, if we would have sped off. Yeah, then JFK yeah. probably could have survived, but no, he just there were gunshots. Just they, slow. they knew. They knew. I feel like they knew. They, knew. they fucking they drove extra slow. Yeah. There was like three <laughs> shots missed, and the fucking driver was like, "Fuck him, he's gonna fucking know. Like he's gonna find out. Like fucking, I'm gonna slow yeah. this down a little bit more. Yeah, I gotta get paid. <laughs> gotta get paid. That's so crazy. No, no, no. Shit's so crazy. I wonder, like, do you think they can do that shit now? Like, yeah, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theory around the JFK shit. Yeah. And it could all just be what they're telling yeah, us. Yeah. You could, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm open to all that shit. I'm yeah, not like, same, oh, same. oh, it has to be a, this yeah, story. Yeah. It's a lie. Yeah. You know, the, the fucking report is uh, false and shit like that. I mean, it is, it, but, it, yeah, but, <laughs> but it could be you know, true. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, you know there's, I mean? there's definitely, it could, it could be 90% exactly, true yeah, or 95. It could, it could be exactly yeah. what they said yeah, and that's how it happened. But, yeah. But, but also like the conspiracy shit could be true too. You yeah. Know? I mean, we'll never yeah, know. Never know. Right. We'll never know. But just the fact that he was mobbing that slow. Yeah. Like if you watch the video. <laughs> yeah. And he's fucking, they're like, continuous why the fuck shots. would you have the leader of the free world as we yeah. knew at that time. Right. Yeah. And you're just mobbing down this fucking street slow as fuck like that. <laughs> and the fucking shooter misses. I don't know how many times did he miss. Was it three I times? Know. I don't know, but yeah, if he got it the, the first time or something, because I think they did yeah. hear a shot, but like, I mean, I get it. The crowd is going off, but like, no, if someone yeah. like, it, even if the wife is like, I, I, she kind of turned, she was like, but they, I'm sure there were yeah. screams or something still didn't Just, fucking peel yeah, off. Fucking peel didn't off. Didn't peel off. You're the secret service. Like, Your job is to protect the president. Yeah. Never like, peeled off. Like Bruce Willis, that shit. Some Go shit. up the fucking uh, grassy knoll. <laughs> like fucking just turn and be like, huh? <laughs> Get people out of here. Fucking honking. <laughs> and that was like 63, right? Or 64, yeah. something like that. Those cars were fast. Every car had a V8 back then. Like there was no fucking four bangers. Like every fucking car had a V8 engine. Fucking metal. Just, yeah, wood fences. <laughs> like nothing what? could be. Nothing no could stand in your way. Like, bro. Just, 
Hey, get the president the fuck out of there. Like, yeah, you they, drive up that fucking hill, up. you get off the road, you drive up the hill, you fucking mob. Maybe they just bro. thought they didn't make enough or something. Or, nah, it was a setup, dude. <laughs> no, it was a setup. Because he was just, they were moving too slow. Yeah. And you're not, like, you're not going to swerve. You're not going to fucking get the president out of there. You're just going to keep mo- moving on down the line. Slow. <laughs> fucking mob. <laughs> slow as fuck. Just like, oh, well, hopefully they don't hit him. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, what else do we got on the agenda? What, uh, oh, um, Dave Chappelle, speaking of political, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Dave, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle dropped a special, um, The Closer. What are your thoughts? I mean, that's just, that was, um, I liked it. Yeah, uh, I loved it. And I mentioned it to you on the phone that I don't, I feel like he wasn't trying to be like funny. Like he's a comedian. Yeah, so he's, yeah. he's, you know, it's a comedy special. So of course he had jokes. Yeah. But I just think he was trying to get his point across. Yeah. And it seemed that way to me because he started the show off saying, okay, this is my last special for a while. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's like, this is going to be my last one for a while. And then when he started talking about what he was talking about, I was like, okay, he's just making a statement. Mm -hmm. Like this, this whole thing is about him. And that's probably why it's called The Closer. He was bringing uh, the shit yeah. to a close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he did. Gonna, yeah, he did. and he yeah. was going to sit back and just watch shit for, yeah. for a while. Yep, you know yep, what I mean? Yep. Because um, how long did he take a break from when he was on Chappelle's show to his first Netflix special? Yeah. You know what I mean? Eight years. Or, no, I, I don't even know. Yeah, and Eight that years. made it great. Years, yeah, yeah. He did his. He did the shit. He, he did his Chappelle show. Um, disappeared, mm-hmm. right? fucking i remember i remember when that happened yeah because like there was internet and stuff but it wasn't like there wasn't like social media wasn't very big and stuff yeah so people were literally like where the fuck is dave Chappelle? like he's gone yeah and there was like reports of him in india like with some guru or some shit and then like yeah. in africa mm-hmm. with like you know some same thing like, some and, he's, and he said that he didn't get paid like he said anything mm-hmm. and i don't know like it's it's possible i mean i'm sure he got paid but like think about how he had to divvy it up Right. maybe or something like oh, that yeah yeah and like not even enough because he, he signed a contract when he was like 29 he had a mm-hmm. kid or 28 he had a kid coming he just wanted you know some type of income right struggling but like and just a fucking hit show and they're not paying him like right uh, that's ah uh, just because it's a contract like how could you not understand like i mean they understand but like you know you're getting this much rating this yeah. many views like right pay him more yeah, they've, like they guarantee they've made way more off of Chappelle show even to this day yeah then they were going to pay him yeah you know what i mean they made yeah. more than what they were going to pay him but yeah. it's just like whatever you agreed to then that's yeah. yours but right. like i don't know people they know what's right is right but they just choose to you know stick with that fucking yeah. shady shit that's like legal i guess oh yeah. yeah yeah it's and that is bullshit like ethics and humanity go out the window when it comes to fucking corporate yeah. shit you know what i mean yeah. when it comes to the dollar like that shit the fucking humanity and all that goes out yeah. the window you know to preserve your your getting of your piece of the pie you know what i mean yeah but but back to this to the special, special. i thought it was good because and i mentioned this to you too because when i look at dave Chappelle and his last few specials on netflix mm-hmm. in 50 years like grandkids are going to be talking about him. they're going to be asking about him yeah. you know what i mean because who knows in, in fucking 50 years if the right wing <laughs> if the right wing conspiracy theorists are correct it's going to be a total uh, you, what is it called a uh, like that book 1984 by George Orwell no uh-huh. uh utilitarian government where it's like the well, government see, runs everything and they monitor all that well, you do and I you can't go outside of you know saying this and that i don't so i you, hope it's not that utilitarian way. is actually a good thing i think you're thinking of uh, something else I mean, well whatever it's called Okay. All right. Yeah. Whatever. Because yeah, maybe you're right. But yeah. I, but if if it's that way, yeah, right? And like, yeah. and free speech is way dumbed down because yeah. you cannot say anything outside of like this or that, right? Yeah. And this and this is just speculation, right? You know, there's some people who are gonna die on that fucking hill, and oh, they're gonna go towards that. And we need to keep our rights. Isn't it the kind of that you way know? right now a little bit though? Like if somebody, like if somebody. I mean, Dave, he's a, he's a special case because, you know, he's, he's up there. He's a great, mm-hmm. he has, you know, there's validity and, but like if, if random, like say a, a C lister or something like that said some of that shit, like right. they would cancel him. Cause it's like status oh, yeah. quo, right. you know, like you can't say this or you can't say that. I and mean, they're even doing it with Dave right now, but it's yeah. like, uh, we kind of already don't have exact freedom of speech. So to, so to speak, I guess, 
as a yeah, it's like you'll, yeah. you'll get checked by somebody i mean if, right. obviously you it's, won't go to jail you won't get be killed is, but like yeah the thing is is that's the the court of public opinion yeah you know what i mean yeah like the government yeah isn't yeah. saying hey you can't say that true because there's, you know I mean? there's government there's a like difference that, yeah. so like the 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 amendment like the you know the that right in the constitution yeah. is a governmental right yeah where the government's not going to come and stop you yeah. from saying this and that right yeah like people are going to cancel culture or whatever they call it now, yeah. right that's yeah. the the quote unquote court of public opinion yeah you know but so yeah that, but the, the, doesn't that like like say younger kids right they mm-hmm. they grew up with social media they know how powerful it is yeah. even though they're like they're probably you know none of us are anybody really right. so they're nobodies right but they know like oh if i say something like that's probably why they have anxiety too right if i mm-hmm. say something outside of this right. then uh i'm gonna be either shunned or like you know yeah uh by even friends or friends of friends or like you yeah because they know right the group our mob mentality right yeah so yeah it's just like that black but episode. but praise to dave for <laughs> speaking up what he really feels yeah and, that's uh you yeah, know that's definitely the point that i uh i would make is that he is standing firm in his position yeah you know what i mean yeah. like he's not going with the wave he's not just going with the fucking trend yeah you know i mean he's himself like he's being and, himself. He, and he's, he's always been this dude yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and, and it's not like he his position isn't wrong like he he says he's a feminist right. i believe him and he, I, I believe mm-hmm. he is uh he just wants you know probably prioritize right yeah like his people like you know blacks yeah you know, they've been through so much and stuff like that right. and suffered and it's like can they get something out right. of it or like you know or yeah. like you know get some momentum more momentum than you know yeah i don't know but like yep. so I, I i hear him oh i hear him too and i i really do think that in in the generations to come He's yeah. going to be looked at, and not in the exact sense, but mm-hmm. he's going to be looked at like how our generation looks at like Tupac, yeah, or how the generation before us would look at like Malcolm X, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's a a voice, especially for his own people, yeah. right? An African American man, yeah. He's a voice that's like just echoing throughout time. Mm-hmm. Like he's been famous for a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's always had that stance. Like this is the guy that almost turned down a movie role with uh Martin Lawrence. I think it was Blue Streak. Oh yeah, yeah. Because they because were gonna make him dress as a woman. Him, yeah, wear a dress. They wanted him to, yeah, they to wanted him to do a scene jail. where he was gonna escape jail by dressing up in drag. Yeah. And he was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's he's carrying that same so many stance. people would yeah. take that money. Yeah. Like everybody yeah. probably has think taken about that, that money. Dude, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like even even Martin Lawrence, right? Yeah. When he had his breakdown, it was after Big Mama's house. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like Martin Lawrence in the 90s had that hit show, right? Martin. Yeah. And he was on House Party and stuff like that. And he was he was the he was a dude. He was a straight up like, hey, you know, I'm gonna yeah. tell Gina how it is. Yeah, that's you know true. I mean? Yeah. And they, they fucking dehumanized him, bro. They degraded, degraded, him. degraded him a little bit. Yeah. I didn't think you know about I mean? like the mentality yeah. there. Because I, I wasn't a huge Martin fan. Yeah. Not to say that his, his work isn't great. Love anything, Martin. But yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it is. If I watched Martin like throughout, mm-hmm. um, I, I'm sure I'd be like more of a fan. But yeah, I didn't think about like him growing up the way he did you yeah. know probably like you know machismo not machismo but you know what i mean like man right yeah, yeah, and then and oh yeah we'll give you this amount of money but right. you just have to do this and then yeah. you know to him it could have been you know embarrassing or yeah. something like that exactly but even yeah, though to yeah, us yeah. to me right. it was a good movie it was yeah, funny it was but funny, like, I, I didn't even think about like you know yeah that type of thing but to him it could have been you it know been, my whole family yeah. sees me in this or you know yeah. people i grew up with his kids they, like yeah you know what who mean? knows yeah like and and it could be how um I'm trying to remember exactly what we were talking about earlier, but like when Dave Chappelle left that money yeah. and you were like, oh, the, the company didn't pay him and he had shit, like he had a kid on the way and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Marlon Woods might have had to do that movie because he was yeah, in a certain exactly. predicament. Oh, all the time, I'm you know, sure. We don't know his, yeah, we yeah, don't know his personal time. life, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm sure, He yeah. could have spent all the money from his Martin show and shit like that and he was like, fuck, I need a fucking movie. I got to do something to put some food on the table. Yeah. And his agent's like, well, how about you dress like a fucking fat woman? And, you know? <laughs> Yeah. He's like, fuck, I gotta do it, you know, and then he did it and it just like And who knows even it. after, yeah. like they just you know, everybody takes their cut or yeah. something like that, or taxes, this and that. So it's like yep. not even enough. I mean, I'm sure it's good money, but mm-hmm. like yeah, maybe they don't understand like, you know, oh I'm I'm 
I paid this or I need to, I'm taking care of this. But yeah. like, you know, some people, lawyers or who are right. agents, you know, mm-hmm. I need my money. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know? yeah I'll, it, there's so much shit like that. Like I hear, um, uh, there's a podcast called, uh, uh, it's Shannon Sharp's podcast. Oh yeah. So he had, um, uh, I think it was an NBA player, an NFL player, former player on there. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about their rookie contract. Yeah. And they got their rookie contract. Yeah. And the agent called him the mm-hmm. day that his check was like arrived in the mail yeah. and was like, Hey, you got that 400 grand for me. 400. And he's grand. like, Oh, well, what do you mean? I just got my first rookie sign on bonus. It was like 1.5 million. Oh, right? okay, yeah. But he's like, I just yeah. got the check. Like I haven't cashed it yet. He goes, Hey, I need my money now. Like, and he was like, well, why? You know, like, I, I don't get it. Like, is, you know, mm-hmm. this and that. And he goes, oh, you don't think me flying your family out to the draft was expensive? What about the hotel I paid for? The suit I bought you? You know what I mean? Yeah. The car I rented for you guys to get to the show or to get to the draft. And he was like, that was his first like reality check. Like, holy yeah. shit, these fuckers these are fuckers just, are game they don't me. care about me. They just yeah. care about what I can get them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't no fucking yeah. 400 grand. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah. I get an accounting. Yeah. Free, but who, yeah. Who knows? At, like, and it, at, Think about that time, like how you just yeah. said, right? I would get an accounter. So he was probably a 19 year old kid, yeah, fresh yeah, out of college, yeah, just yeah. got drafted, just got paid. Yeah. He don't know nothing. He doesn't, yeah. All he knows is that, hey, I'm, I'm about to set my family up, you know yeah. what I mean, for, for generations. Yeah. And then this fucking guy, because he knows, he, he has, he's probably represented X amount of players, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so he knows that money's coming. And he's like, I need that money. Yeah. You and Dave, I mean? Dave even said this in another, I think it was a YouTube mm-hmm. uh, special where he said, like, um, he, what the hell is it, three card money? And stuff oh, like huh. that, like how uh, yeah. he knew what card was the card, the red card mm-hmm. to pick because it was a little yeah. bent. But when he put his last sixty dollars, uh, and he said that was the card, and it wasn't the card, mm-hmm. he realized everybody was in on the game, the scam. Oh. So like even with lawyers yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that, and he, I think mm-hmm. he alluded to that if he right. didn't say it, you know. But like everybody's in on the scam, so like. I mean, of course, he could go to any accountant or something like right, that. Right, but right. still, it's like, I'm sure if the guy's like, oh, I'm getting 400 grand. Yeah. And like, if I talk to you, you know, right. it's justified or something yeah. like that, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, they are they all play the same yep. game, so they're on the same team exactly. for some yeah. reason, you know? Yep. Some sad shit. But but he, he's going to be looked at that way because yeah. <clears throat> he's standing firm on his stance, right? He's never yeah. changed it up. Yeah. he's He's the same person today as he was. 25 years ago you know what i mean yeah well i would say even better because, oh yeah absolutely like, his craft is better yeah, you know what i mean i mean he's I mean, always been hilarious yeah always been yeah, yeah uh insightful hilarious mm-hmm. but like i don't know I'm, I'm sure he's always thought that way but like just to bring it out so geniusly yeah like oh man yeah it's something else the point he made when he uh he was like my opposition's always been the whites you know what i mean <laughs> yeah he's like then they changed it up on me you know <laughs> yeah like they are, they're just, this is happening to him and it's just a hurdle. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like this whole, um, uh, transgender thing. Cause that's pretty much like what he's being roasted for. You know yeah. what I mean? Being put in the furnace for is, is his position and, and comments on that. Yeah. Um, it's just a hurdle for him. Like he doesn't, he's not opposed to them. He's no. not in a ring with them fighting them. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like how he said he was jealous yeah. of them because yeah. Exactly. Of how much they're accomplishing in such yeah. little time. But he mm-hmm. acknowledges that it's because of white males. Right. That's what the boost is for. Yeah. And yep. if it was black people who started it or something like that, mm-hmm. it wouldn't get the attention or, you know, yep. traction. So, yeah. And I believe it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do too. And it's, it's crazy. It's so crazy. But it's going to, I hope that it's just something that, it's just a hurdle, just a speed bump for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's too, he's too, he's too big. I think for them yeah. to try to bring him down, you know? Um, but I think he would even do it. Even if he wasn't big, I think he's that type yeah, of dude. Even I if he so was too. still pre Chappelle show, Dave Chappelle and pre Chappelle show, Dave Chappelle was doing comedy in today's era. Yeah. He'd still be doing the same shit. I think, you know what I mean? Yeah, I believe. Cause he's, he's just who he is. He just has that stance and I respect the shit out of him for it. Same. You know what I mean? Like he's going to be somebody because, um, well, the podcast listeners won't know this, but like my kids are black and yeah. my son is a black male. I had you know to think I mean? about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not, 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 <laughs> not because I don't, yeah. you're, they're my nephews and my nieces. Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, you obviously look black, yeah, um, yeah. but you're not, I mean, you, you, I would consider you kind I'm of black. Latino. Be, yeah. yeah. Because the way you're perceived mm-hmm. 
probably could be black. So yeah. it's like, you know, you're kind of, you have a correlation. Right. And that is, uh, a, that's a conversation yeah. to be had too. Yeah. Like Afro Latinos are black, right? Yeah. But they're yeah. also Latino. Yeah. You course. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's just the culture that makes them feel like they can't accept their blackness for whatever reason. Like you talk to like Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and stuff like that. And in the culture, you know, if you're not like bought into the, the Latin, uh, I don't know, like the Latin viewpoint. Yeah then you're like an outcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, but that's, that's, but just to ca- clarify your, you, your baby mom is black, yes, actual she's, black. She's so full black. Your kids are, <clears throat> yeah, my kids are, my kids black. are, are black. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. um, I don't tell them this cause they're too young, but I tell, I've told her this. I'm like, they are, they're black like on their yeah. documentation and stuff. They're going to put African-American yeah. because that's their race. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And their ethnicity is Hispanic. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. an ethnicity. Okay. So their ethnicity is going to be Hispanic, but their race is black. And uh, going back to that, he, Dave Chappelle is definitely going to be somebody I want my son to look at and be like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed of who mm. I am as a man and my yeah. culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was... Just like Tupac, just like, you know, Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. And these, these positive, influential black men, mm. like you're black first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's how you're perceived. That's how you're perceived. So yeah. you have to have that stance and, and, mm-hmm. and, you know, stand up for it, be proud of it and stuff yep. like that. Cause that's how people are going to interact with you. Exactly. So, yeah. Yep. So he's going to be somebody that I'm definitely going to have him know and just like, know, like hopefully finds out what he's about and stuff like yeah. that. How, when, when do you introduce that? Because it's like, we grew up, right. I, mm-hmm. I feel like we watched like movies like blood and blood out yeah. at an early age. Right. And I loved that movie. Even when I was, you know, really young mm-hmm. and i probably didn't get everything that was going on mm-hmm. but like just to have the um the attention span to finish the whole movie or something and it was it was long at the beginning right it's a long yeah. movie now but like but like i didn't grasp maybe all the concepts but i knew there was something to it to be like taken serious yeah and so yeah when do you introduce things like that to them because they'll probably get certain things out of it but they won't get right. the whole thing until they get older and like, oh, this now this makes sense. Yeah. Now, oh, I didn't see that before. But like, yeah, when do you start introducing and thinking they get the concepts? I mean, I kind of have been his whole life, especially him. Uh, my daughter's too young. Yeah. Um, she's only three, yeah. you know. But what I love about it is that he found his own identity in that. Like, mm-hmm. he loves being black, and I yeah. love it. Like, he even at a young age, um, he just embraced it. Yeah. Like, and it's because he he grew up around it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he's in that, he's just in that environment. You're in the culture. He's in the culture. Yeah. You know I mean? His grandparents watch only black stuff and um, are very into black culture. His mom is, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, it, he's just wrapped around it. You know what yeah. I mean? So I don't even feel like I have to introduce him to much things. Yeah. Well, just I mean like it. the, just, you know, not just yeah. the culture, but I'm saying mm-hmm. like to, to profound uh, pieces of work like Dave Chappelle. Oh, okay. And to break okay. it down. Okay. Like Malcolm X uh yeah if like you wanted like to that. go that way too but like oh, yeah, i'm saying like dave Chappelle, because like he's yeah. such you know mm-hmm. there's ingenuity in right, there right, right. so it's like when do you think he'll understand you know what he's saying in his specials or something like that honestly because there's funny yeah. stuff he'll probably be like right. oh that's funny like oh i <laughs> yeah, laughed yeah. at that but like there's stuff in there when that, he gets the yeah. real shit yeah yeah, yeah 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 when you when you start like when i introduce him to like hey this is the reality yeah do you break it down stuff. for him or do you like just kind of wait till he kind of tells you and then you're kind of uh you know you'll you'll guide him but like he brings it up to you right this is a good point Mm. this is a good point because it immediately takes me to in civilization right yeah in humanity right in like human civilization human history Mm -hmm. there's always been a period of time where a young man had to go through like either a ritual or they had to go through right um like that transition period into being a man, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And in mo- most cultures, if you like, if they were examined, and I don't know this for sure, but I've heard and I've I've seen in um, documentaries and stuff, it was usually around twelve years old. Oh. Like in most cultures, that's twelve about old, right. Yeah, a twelve year old was a man, mm-hmm. and so they started teaching him like a man. Like um, Native American tribes would take their twelve year old boys. So what they would do is they um, they were reared by the mother. Mm-hmm. up until age 12 right, right. not yeah. that the father wasn't involved but the father was doing shit like he was protecting the village yeah or hunting and you know making sure that there's food and stuff like that 
But around 12 years old, when the males, majority of the males in the tribe were turning 12 years old, mm. the men would go off and say they were going on a hunt. And then they would go and put their war paint on yeah. outside of, of the camp, right? Okay. And then they would come at night and kidnap the boys, mm-hmm. all the 12 year old boys. Yeah. And the mothers would be like screaming and crying and stuff <laughs> like that. But it was like a symbol of, hey, they're away from you now. They yeah. don't need you anymore. Yeah. Now they're going to be a man. And they would take these boys out and they would have them. Every diff- different Native American tribes would have different like ceremonies or yeah. rituals. Mm-hmm. You know, there's like the, the, the classic ones where they would give them like, um, you know, peyote or whatever, yeah. and have them hike the hike, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. hike the mountain, mountain to, yeah. to find like you know um, their inner self or whatever. And then yeah. a lot of them would just like kidnap them for several days, and they would have this ma- this paint on, mm-hmm. even though it was probably their dad or their uncles. Yeah, but they have this paint on of probably a, a separate tribe. Huh. So this guy, this kid, probably thought, "I'm fucking kidnapped. I'm not going to see my family well, again." Have, yeah, you know but, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, would, it would just be to make them. Yeah, yeah just to, yeah, yeah. Just and, then there's, and then other cultures maybe too, it's like a shock yeah, thing yeah, like, like a shock thing. Yeah. Like, hey, you wake up now. You're yeah. not a boy anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then like the Spartan culture in ancient Greece had something similar, right? Where they'd mm-hmm. have them fight at age yeah. twelve and find yeah. out who's strongest. Yeah. And then they would like, okay, you fucked up everybody. You're you're going to be a general when you grow up, or you know, yeah, you you got a lot of toughness, but you're just not strong. Yeah. So we're going to put you on the back line as an archer, whatever it is, right? Right, right, right. So. Very good way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yeah. not today, right? but like I, I, I yeah. can see the merit. But when he's that age and mm-hmm. I see that he's turning away from boyish things, mm-hmm. that's when I'm gonna sit down and and start to implement some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Because like mm-hmm. right now he's still he's still yeah. a boy. Yeah, and like, it's it's probably good to keep yeah. him like a boy as, you know As long as he naturally is. Naturally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like not like overdo it. Not overdo but, it. Yeah. yeah, you can't be too much one way or the other. Yeah, right. Like you can't be too nurturing, like yeah. a, like sm- like some moms are. Right, you can't be over nurturing for the yeah. rest of somebody's life. Yeah, because it's going to hinder them in certain areas. Yeah, there's going to be. But like, you, you yeah. also can't be over, too overpowering and have too much of a hardcore male, you know, um, influence because and especially at an early age because that's going to cause them to be over aggressive. They weren't ready for yeah. it, so now they just are hyper aggressive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's like balances or whatever, or and that's like. That's one thing that our, our current like current culture is fucked up on, right? Because everybody's doing their own thing. Everybody has the liberty to raise their kid their own way. Yeah. And in a sense, maybe some of those people didn't come up from a good culture, and now they're parenting incorrectly, but they don't know it. They I mean, don't know it. I think that's 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 been the case most or majority or like a lot uh, yeah, of the time in the so industrial age. Dude, there's this book yeah. that I read, uh-huh. um, and it's about being a man, right? Yeah. It's a no more Mister Nice Guy. Oh, okay. yeah. And I heard about this book from another book. So I was reading a book and the guy referenced this book. and I was like, I'm going to check that out. Yeah. But in the book, he talks about this kind of thing, uh-huh. like a, a ritual to becoming a man. Yeah. And in our culture, like American culture, mm-hmm. right? That shit ceased once the industrial industry, the industrial area or whatever they call it, industrial revolution, revolution mm-hmm. happened because now the man was at work all the time. Yeah. And he wasn't there to help his kids and stuff like they had to rely on the mom that's and true. the school public yeah, schools that's true. to teach their their kids how to be a person right that's true oh, man. where before that it was like s- communities and stuff like that like farming and yeah. stuff like that so yeah. it's like you you showed your son mm-hmm. a toughness right. or like how to you know or how to things. do this and that yeah. because hey this is the this is where we live like yeah. a, a guy with his family in a town in like pennsylvania in the 1800s right yeah they were all doing a certain thing like i don't know what they were doing but like I don't know, dairy farmers, right? Yeah. So when a kid came of age, they were like, hey, we're going to take you out to the field. You're going to learn to be a dairy farmer because all of our neighbors and us were all dairy farmers. Yeah. You're going to learn this. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Um, but then when the industrial revolution happened and men started going to work full time and then they were fucking checked out. <laughs> bodies were <laughs> spent. Yeah. yeah. Coming back just fucking like, oh, yeah. man, I was fucking working on this machine all fucking, fucking day. Beer. You know, give me yeah. a fucking, yeah, give me yeah. a fucking beer. Yeah. And then the kid comes in. Yeah, the no energy. Comes, yeah, yeah. No yeah. time. So it just ruined the family um, nucleus. Yeah. Right. It yeah. did. It ruined yeah. it to an extent. And then World War One happened. Yeah. And then a lot of young men were gone and old men. Everybody was at war. Yeah. And there was no males to initiate the younger males that weren't old enough to go to war mm. so then when they came back all shell shocked and shit from seeing some dude on the beach of france getting blown the fuck up yeah you know what i mean yeah. they couldn't they couldn't pass on their knowledge to them they were too busy like i just dealing fucking, with their own shit yeah, yeah. i just batoned like fucking five <laughs> motherfuckers on the beach i can't think of i can't here. think of anything else 
the yeah, guy just that died. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, um, so yeah, so they, they didn't have time to fucking rear the kids either. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it yeah. broke, like they broke that chain and it could be, I keep going back to conspiracy shit because it's like so hot. Like a lot of people yeah, talk about yeah. it, but it could be that the quote unquote powers that be mm-hmm. foreseen that. And they were like, Hey, we're, let's fucking start a world war or whatever. You know, let's, let's do this for this reason. Um, and I think it would end up being like, if there was like a, a conspiracy or like a new world order or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they would, they would probably be smart enough to look at like, okay, we're going to war for, for this aspect, right? Which usually is like a, a monetary aspect, mm-hmm. right? Whether to take control of the opioid fields in Afghanistan or to um, whatever it may be, right? Yeah. Like they're like, we're going to do this and we're going to get these countries involved. And then they have other people who are like analytical about like, oh shit, yeah. And then once we do this, mm-hmm. there's not going to be enough men in the house to yeah. keep us from, you know, putting these subliminal messages. And then they got another guy that's like, oh yeah. And then, you know, we can fucking introduce drugs uh-huh. to the you know, inner cities and fuck them up and stuff like that. It's not like just all at, like all planned at once. It's like a bunch of different plans coming together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, ultimately for one end goal or whatever, but that's a conspiracy theory because <laughs> It could not be that way. You know, it could be that uh, the fucking, we had yeah, to go to war. Yeah. Just and as they say, like just, we had yeah. to go to war. And so then, we sent the guys and we didn't realize that by just, sending them, we wouldn't have a good, you know, upbringing for the kids that were left behind. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. It could just so, be cause and effect. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It could just be people or human nature, not nature, but yeah, it's just like the psych psychological aspect is just we're fucked yeah. up or something like that no yeah. matter or we we or we just fucked up and um because now i'm just thinking like ancient civilizations they still went to war yeah right like you think about the like that movie troy that's based off of like yeah. a real event right mm-hmm. the greeks went to war with the trojans and the trojans were like a fucking really good army you know they had a really good civilization the greeks were starting to come together probably not like we are the united states like we're yeah. under one union but this fucking king was conquering a bunch of Greek kingdoms. And he was like, I want the whole fucking pie, baby. I don't want just this slice of Greece over here. I'm going to go take some of the Trojan too. So they came together to fight, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm sure that because their culture was so strong, that even when they left to go to war, mm-hmm. their, their cultural standards were still there for their boys and their, you know, and their girls. I don't want to just single out. It was just for yeah. boys. But their young men were still going through the same quote unquote rituals or civ- like s- just civilized um, entrance into being a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Trying to find the right words. So there's a, but the culture was strong. Yeah. Like the culture didn't, didn't, the culture wasn't affected by that going to war. Like it was in the United States. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? So quick question. Cause like speaking of cultures. Okay. So there was a, it was a computer generated uh, like outcome like when society is going to break down uh-huh. and uh it said something around like in the 2020 20 something oh, i think i've seen this yeah yeah. yeah yeah so and it we're on scheduled as predicted by that computer um do you think like like how you said the culture right mm-hmm. it could expand because it's the same culture right do you think right now we have so many different cultures that are like kind of clashing and stuff like that we will not be able we're gonna not be able to be on board with everything so it is going to collapse too it could I think it, I mean, it could. It could very well. Yeah. And, this is, and this is why. Okay. Especially here, like in the United States. And this is the only viewpoint we have, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. we're, we're American citizens. Right. And most of, most people that have that kind of uh, outlook on civilization, it's going to collapse and it's going to be like yeah. everybody's fighting for their own shit. They're yeah. looking at it from like an American perspective, I feel like. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. Yeah. That, because, I'm sure that should happen a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because we created... Well, there's still tribes, even yeah. though we're not called tribes yeah. and we don't all live together. Mm-hmm. Like there's still tribes. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Like sport, like sports fans, they root for their sports teams. That's their tribe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like people right now, like sexuality is a big thing. So people who identify as a certain sexuality, that's their tribe. Yeah. So these tribes are going to disagree on a lot of things and it's going to, it could, I'm not saying it's going to, it could eventually causes the collapse of the entire civilization mm. because they're at war with each other over these things and it becomes escalated and heated. Um, and even like weather shit, right? Like think about, I read a story uh, just the other day. Um, it was like an article about 
scientists predict that if the drought trend that we're seeing oh yeah keeps on for the next 20 years yeah. that we could be like on a water shortage and people yeah. are going to start you know fighting over water and, right. and shit like that we we're already, we already seen a little bit of that with the whole pandemic last year where people were fucking yeah. going crazy over toilet paper and shit like that you know what i mean yeah um so when supply is limited people are going to roll with their quote-unquote tribes yep. over civilization over their humanity you know what i mean yeah um but the fact that i think that it's a predominantly american outlook is because in other countries they put the the culture above it all you know what i mean like you think about china they okay. put their chinese culture above their individuality yeah that's you know what true. i mean that's true yeah, yeah like it's above their individuality yeah like they put the the culture of being a chinese uh, citizen above their own individual feelings and sometimes but, but it's does, not doesn't that make them strong though because oh it does that's, that's what the united states was and and, yeah. and the republican and probably older mm-hmm. generations you know, i'm american you know, right you don't you yeah, know, yeah but like the younger generation and stuff is like well no that's actually wrong so right. i'm not gonna side with that yeah. but there might be some divide there something yeah like that yeah so, there's some division there yeah, it, it, but, you're, I'm not going to say what's right, but right. it's just like, you know, you could have a lot of stupid people, but if they're banded together. Yeah. They're going to fucking, <laughs> they're gonna fucking they're gonna, be strong. Know, yeah, they're going to be yeah. a little stronger. But yeah. That just reminded me of the, um, this episode I watched last night of uh, the Squid Game. Oh, I got to watch that. Yeah. Do you even watch Squid Game nah, yet? No, I will. So I don't want to, there's not a spoiler or anything, but yeah. there was a, in an episode, they have to do something as a group. Yeah. <laughs> and the group that the main character's in was like a fucked up group. Mm-hmm. And the particular challenge they had to do involved them being able to have like good physical ability. They didn't have it. Yeah. And this man, old man on the team was like, well, we don't have to be the strongest. Uh, we just have to be unified. Is he that guy in the memes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The old guy in the memes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always smiling. All right. Yeah. But he's like, we just have to be unified. Yeah. And if yeah. we all have a unified way of doing this, mm-hmm. we're going to win. Do you think the Squid Games, like, I'm going to go a little conspiracy, like, because I don't know what it's about, mm-hmm. but it's like, do you think that they implement these certain things to get you used to concepts? Like, I think of like the mask singer. Sometimes I'm like, why okay. the fuck did they bring out the mask singer? I, I love the mask singer. I love Korea, <laughs> uh, but it's like now we all wear masks and shit. But like I don't oh, know. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, like the Squid Games. Like you know, you have to do a survival thing or whatever. It's like yeah. kind of preparing you. Like maybe you have to collaborate or survive somehow or something. I don't know. Not to be to a certain right. extent, but like some type of aspect. Maybe you know because like it's always been said that. Um, hollywood or whatever yeah. you know they they put out things in preparation of world events yeah like yeah you remember um that we watched a 9-11 documentary way back in the day where they were like oh before 9-11 in the twin towers yeah. there was a lot of movies coming out about pearl harbor and a lot of patriotic movies were yeah, coming out yeah, around yeah, that yeah, time true, true, true. and they were like rallying people to be like oh yeah you know we're you know we're all united and then all of a sudden the terrorist attack happens and then yeah. they're like that spirit's already there. <laughs> they already built it up. Yeah, you know what I mean? because it's it's, it's kind of true though. It's like because mm-hmm. if you just did something like, I don't know, if there's no follow up to it, mm-hmm. I mean, you could you won't have a, the same reaction, right, or the same result. I feel like so. I think you have to have some kind of it's like foreplay or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, you gotta like, get them ready. Better, it's better, <laughs> you know, when you <laughs> throw those yeah, teams yeah, out yeah. there. You know, I yeah. Think. I see what you mean, but I don't know. I yeah. I think with the Squid Game, um, it's a cool concept. The guy that wrote it, yeah. if it's true, I've seen this article as well that he had this script basically laying there for like nine years, and no studio would pick it up, mm. and he finally got it approved from Netflix and put it together, and it's become like now yeah, it's like yeah. the number one stream show. You know, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. but I just think. It, because it's good it's really good i think a lot of it is just unreal yeah you know um but i just think it goes to show like just humanity in general right Mm -hmm. so just natural humanity is a survival like instinct right because we're animals that you know yeah we're we're animals we're from the animal kingdom self-preservation yeah yeah yeah. the will to live and stuff like that and but that's why it's a important to align yourself and your values with like the right type of, and I don't even know that there's, there's only one correct way, 
but to align yourself and your values with something that wouldn't put you in that situation. Because mm-hmm. in the Squid Game, once you get to watch it, I'd recommend you guys watch it, even start tonight or something, yeah, so I'll, you're up I'll on it. Do it. But um, the people that are in the Squid Game basically put themselves in the squid game uh, because they fuck their lives up. Yeah. So they fuck their lives up where this is their only fucking other option. This is their only option basically. Yeah. Something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you, if they were living correctly and they weren't yeah. doing all this they stupid shit, they wouldn't have that. to be in the squid yeah. game. Yeah. You know, so that in a, in a way that's like, if it was how you said, like where they're bringing this up in preparation, mm. then there would be like a force behind it saying, but yeah, maybe realize that if you didn't yeah. do this shit you wouldn't have to do this type of stuff like we all just came together and like okay you have your differences i have my differences but what's our common diff what's our commonality the commonality between yeah. everybody if i could just tell you and mm-hmm. then you know hopefully everybody else realizes this, the commonality is sick versus healthy mm-hmm. right like Tell me anybody in the world who enjoys being right. sick and likes being sick yeah. or, you know, wants to be sick. Yeah. Some people like, you know, the pity, you know, oh, weirdos. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Munchausen syndrome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, for the most part, people want to be happy, happy, healthy, yeah, yeah. you know, and all that stuff. So if we ever come to that and yeah, of course, like, you know, when you have rich and poor, mm-hmm. majority poor, like you're going to be sick. There's going to be problems. Right. So I don't know if we'll ever get to that or people really think about that. But hopefully that becomes a realization. But yeah, I, I get that though. Uh, I don't know this, what the Squid Game Squid Games is about. But yeah, do you think like it's how you treat people? Like you know, treat people the way you want to be treated. But yeah. like uh, some people, I don't know. Even if they don't intend to treat people bad, right. it could still come off negative or something like that. Do you think yeah. people do that? I guess because like I, I'll get customers like you know, and they'll just. They're not rude or anything, but they, it seems like they don't want to be bothered. So I right. won't bother them. Yeah. But maybe they do want to like be, you know, hey, yeah, how you doing? Like, yeah. So, yeah. and I, I praise you actually because like you'll treat people better than sometimes how they treat you, I feel like. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's like, it's such a good quality to have, but not everybody's like that. Yeah. And it, it's true. I think a lot more people would be better off if they were yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, but it just comes from, self-evaluation yeah you know what i mean and a lot of people don't uh, people don't have that a lot of people don't until they're shown that they can have it that they can do that they can be that way you know what i mean yeah um to i mean to an extent we we have a we have a camera cut off so it might be to be continued or would you want to uh we could replace a battery give a little five minute break come Um, back well i guess this is just going to be for the podcast listeners then okay we can continue it with the video stuff later okay but um I think to an extent it's it's like I'm grateful that I had that mentality and I developed that yeah that personality yeah. right I don't know if it was instilled in me or it developed out of just my upbringing yeah. right yeah but everybody has the capability to be the same way anybody else is like That's you take true. the perfect yeah. person or you take a person that you model or you you have as like your man that's a great person I love how they are in this aspect of life yeah and if you were just to Try to Im- imitate emulate, it, emulate, emulate it. Yeah, it would eventually stick, and, and yeah, then you'd have your own version of yeah, that. Yeah, and it would improve you. That's you why know? I always uh, appreciated like the Jesus model. Like I'm not, uh-huh. and, and it, you know, Jesus. It's he could have been real. He could he could just be you know somebody that we just yeah. kind of you know came you know like up with. Not you know not to say he wasn't right. real because I, I he was real, but like you know I mean like just the qualities. So it's like, yeah. I strive to be like that. So I think it's good for people to be aware of who that person is and strive to be like that. Yeah. But like some people, they probably look up to their uncle who was a fucking like, you know, yeah. asshole or like, you know, yeah. or like just, they, they thought he was cool. Right. But in reality, like he in was circles, actually, he yeah. was actually, you know, people didn't like him. Yeah. He wasn't <laughs> a good person. Yeah. That's so true. Um, and there's like a million things I can go into, especially like on the Jesus thing. Yeah. Um, but I would just I would just point out the uncle thing, right? Yeah. Because most people are going to reflect who they see and who they're around, right? Right. right? right. And you 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 don't you never know who's going to influence people. Yeah. And you never know when you're going to influence somebody. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there could be a kid that you had an interaction with in your elementary school days 
that impacted them for life. And yeah. you would never know it because they never told you, that's, right? Yeah, that's, that's So that's, that's why true. it's so important every day to just kind of understand that what you do affects things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so interesting, like when you said the whole uncle thing. Um, so I was thinking about our, our uncle, um, our dad's youngest brother, mm-hmm. who I, was very influential in, in my upbringing and your upbringing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And he was the like dude that you can rely on to give it to you straight yeah every time right Mm -hmm. and he would not cut any corners he'd get right to the heart of the situation yeah that's true yeah and i loved that about him i respected that so much about him yeah and then on uh the opposite side what we didn't see yeah is that a lot of people perceived him as somebody who didn't take care of a lot of responsibilities yeah because he had some you know illegitimate children yeah and stuff like that but my perspective of him was that he was just the person i could rely on yeah you know he was the guy that i can rely on to go to like when i first the first time i went to jail Mm. i'll never forget (laughs) and i got out of jail and i was like fuck i can't believe i went to jail yeah you know like what the fuck like i never (laughs) wanted to go to jail (laughs) and uh he made it funny Oh, he didn't how? put me down. He didn't like yeah. beat. I, I expected him to. Yeah, like, when I had to go talk to him. Yeah, like when I had to go talk to him, like, I I expected him to kind of like give me that those talks that only he could give. Yeah, you know, like the you got to think about this. You got to you know. Yeah. Why did you do that? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he was like, um, like one instance always sticks out, and this is one of my favorite memories. Is um <laughs> our younger cousin, who I plan to have on on this uh, eventually. He had a weight set. He got his first weight set. Yeah. And I'd gotten him into weightlifting. Yeah. Because I was big into weightlifting. I'm still am, but I'm not like super buff or anything. But yeah. I, I was into like keeping a good physical strength. Mm-hmm. And he got a weight set. Yeah. And so I was like testing it out with uh, with our uncle. And I was like doing curls and stuff like that uh-huh. and getting it. And he was like, damn, are you sure you're only in there for the weekend? Because you look like a homeboy that was in there for six months. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you look like you're a professional. Like you've yeah. done this in the yard, and you was just going on. Like we were just like, out there doing, you know, that's funny. doing workups and chin ups. Like you know, making like jail jokes. Yeah. Like you know, you woke up in the morning <laughs> and you did your burpees and stuff like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> it just made me laugh because he made light of the situation, yeah. and, then, and then ultimately he just told me like, hey, you know, shit happens. Just make sure it don't happen again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which it did. I, yeah. I did go back to jail one more time. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah. He was just that's that's how he was. Um. But then on the on the outside, what we didn't see, right, mm-hmm. was the that you know some people would say that oh he he was irresponsible because of having these children and and not having the ability to be there for them. Yeah, and or, we, we have to like grow up to like kind of understand those things. I yeah, because it's like you always see when you're a kid, you probably always see the best in like you know your parents mm-hmm. or like you know yeah your relatives, uncles, or your elders. Um, but yeah, when you grow up, I guess yeah you kind of get more information i know he how he said he was in like street fights and stuff like yeah. that and i always thought like maybe it was always the other person but then i come to re- not come to realize but like maybe his hard head you know temperament or something right. like that kind of set somebody else yeah. off yeah and you know that's why he got in a fight and so true like yeah yep yeah because that's very true that's another point too because yeah, i've always known him as the dude that would handle shit yeah handle, handle shit yeah, exactly. and he was a fighter like he could yeah, fight yeah but it was always my perspective of like man who would try to fight my uncle like yeah. he's so cool like why yeah. would they do that why would exactly. they try to beat him up you know and, and it's probably the, that's probably yeah. could be the case the whole time too but i'm right, just, right. but you just see from different perspectives yeah, you like you don't know that somebody could yeah somebody could have yeah. taken something else the In wrong way yeah or exactly. yeah or whatever or he, he could said something could have been care. in passing yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. yeah so you, yeah just growing up you just see different i mm-hmm. guess perspectives but some yep. people maybe they don't grow up and see different perspectives they only see they only you know, see their that own thing. or their only yeah. family side or yep. like that. yeah and that goes that goes back to what we were talking yeah, about earlier the beginning yeah, yeah is yeah. you have to you just have to have like a, a self-check yeah right and there, it, like a, so many books out there like that would teach you stuff like that like even little habits to make yeah to have self-examination yeah but I mean, what I didn't know until I got older is even in the Bible, it talks about that. Oh, wow. Like examine yourself. Yeah. yeah. You know, examine yourself. There's so much like uh, the book of Proverbs has a lot of stuff like that, like self-evaluation. Yeah. Um, 
in the New Testament, like a lot of the writings from the apostles, they were like, hey, examine yourself to make yeah. sure that you're in alignment, you know, with being a decent human being, basically, at the end of the day. Yeah. But it's going to take that self-examination. And some people don't have that because they weren't taught that or just wasn't part of their yeah. reality. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Their, their tribe, their family yeah, yeah. didn't do that. They were yeah. just like, fuck, they just they just expressed it once it bubbled to a point right and then it came out as something bad you right. know what i mean when when they could have just evaluated it within themselves and and just filtered it out and then okay boom it's filtered out now i can just be you know the positive me or whatever yeah and you don't know what you don't know so it's like yeah no disrespect to them because they weren't either taught it or mm-hmm. like they didn't have the experience to right. go through and you know so maybe that's why we create a facebook group to like get those people who are aware yeah. of certain certain things or yeah. something like that so oh yeah we could start something it could either be local or like get other people from you know that could coincide with kind yeah, of for we, sure. how we feel or what we think yeah i'm so into local stuff right now oh, okay um and that'd be cool to have a, like a, a facebook group dude facebook groups are awesome by the um, way i so i went back i logged back into a facebook just to look at groups and i'm not able to find really anything so okay like maybe just because i didn't join them but like yeah face value i don't know what really speaks to me right now or something face so facebook groups because there's so many out there now yeah and um the very first one i got into i believe it was the first one i got into was um the football team i root for right so the green yeah. bay packers yeah yeah okay. it was, it was I, packers I, fans worldwide i get that and it was just i was scrolling on my feed and i seen it and it's like uh groups you know facebook or uh yeah group facebook groups green bay packers fans worldwide and i checked it out and i was like oh yeah and it was football season it's like a couple years ago or a year ago two maybe two years ago and um so i joined it and i loved it because it was like all these people root for the same team i root for and so instead of being on regular facebook where yeah. like a lot of my friends are fans of different stuff yeah and i if i post like a uh Facebook oh yeah or yeah or i post the green, green bay, bay one yeah. you know this and that and then you get like a couple guys on there like oh you know fudge packers this or whatever <laughs> that we we do as football fans you know what i mean but um that would happen and so it was cool to be in a, a community or a group where everybody loved the same team yeah and you're learning about people who you uh have a certain like um relation to right yeah and then i got into um and I never like sought out groups. Yeah, yeah. But I seen this other group that uh, came up on my feed and uh, it was for this video game franchise that I love. And I used to, you know, I used to play it all the time, yeah, Resident Evil. Yeah. And it was a Resident Evil fans group. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm going to get in that and see what that's about, you know, because okay. there was a period of time in my life, especially in junior high, yeah. where I fucking, that was my life, <laughs> yeah. was Resident Evil games. I used to write Resident Evil fan fiction with my friends. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and yeah, Dylan, me sense. and my friend who passed away. RIP, but uh, we used to write fan fiction and come up with stories from the characters from the games. Like, what would happen? Because you know, that we is. only had at, at that time. I think the first three games or first four games in the in the in the series. Yeah. Um. So we were like, well, what would happen if this person, you know, That's and we can write this story, or whatever. I but anyways, it, it it became cool because I now every day I could talk to somebody or comment on a post where somebody liked the same thing I liked. True. You know, I I think for me, I'm more. I like niche things or something, something where the group is not big mm-hmm. to where I could, I could get to know uh, some people or whatever. Cause if it's just, I mean, if it's about something, it's to me, it's just like a fan page, right? It's like, yeah. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Woo. Like, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I, I see the groups as I want to interact with a certain community. That's not so big. Yeah. You know, what's crazy hmm. is that if you do <laughs> look for that, yeah. You probably find out a lot more people than you thought are into that same shit. Yeah, because there was a group that um, I can't remember what it was. It, it was a book I was reading, mm-hmm. right? And there was a chapter in the book that talked about just like um, persistence. Yeah, being a persistent person, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and how important that is to like achieving goals. Yes. right. And so there's a group that's only on that particular chapter in that particular book. Okay. They don't discuss the whole book. <laughs> it's just cool. that chapter. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And there's tons of people in there, you know, at least, yeah. at least a couple thousand maybe. Yeah. And so you would think that that one chapter, there would be like, maybe, oh, okay, there's not like that many people. But there's like a ton of people. Hmm. And I've had conversations with some people from there yeah. that turned out to be super cool. And I talked to them here and there, yeah. these people, huh. you know what I mean? 
But yeah, Facebook groups, that's, it was an awesome concept. I think it's really cool. There's other Facebook groups that I'm in that I really enjoy. Um, and uh, we'll just, so Lo, mm-hmm. my girl, she's in a group that she loves. Like she posts it oh. like every day. What is it? And it's um, Black Moms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. So it's like it's just you know black moms yeah. and talking about their kids mm-hmm. and they share like a bunch of different experiences. Yeah. Like there could be new moms in there, yeah. and so the moms who have like multiple kids will be like, "Hey, don't worry, like this is all you got to do," <laughs> or you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And it's a group of moms, black moms, that you know talk about their experiences and, and their commonalities and shit. And it's it's cool. She loves it. She talks about it all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Maybe I'll. I don't know what if you were to advise a group for me. <laughs> what group would I be? Oh, uh, I mean, you're into music maybe, and stuff. Maybe, so. nah, I don't or, know. How, maybe how, maybe how, a um, newfound parent or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're about I to have a kid. Know. Yeah, but you're about to be know. a new daddy. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if I want to hear like <laughs> more dad problems. But go no, ahead, yeah, because you're gonna get that fucking know it all dad who has like yeah. nine kids. And like, well, what you want to do is yeah, you actually want to do this, and you want to you want to you know when you're wife's giving birth you're gonna to want to be yeah. there and you're gonna to want to lift her heels up or Why some weird shit sounding like a native american <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> all right okay go ahead um, i don't know it's just how some dudes sound no but no, I'm just <laughs> if you were to yeah just go ahead and uh give an idea okay it's, and it doesn't have to be exactly a niche one yeah look up a group for um i don't know like electronic repair <laughs> like, yeah because you were trying to get oh, into that shit. you bought a sod gun like oh. whatever is what is it a soldering yeah, iron soldering thing? Iron, but you bought that shit. Like get up with a fucking group like that, and then uh, yeah, maybe yeah, I, yeah, it would be kind of cool. Like learning a skill or something. Yeah, or like uh, seeing a skill group. Yeah, something like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, there's so many different groups, dude. Okay. We'll, so we'll, we'll, we might look into starting our own. Something. Oh, like I was if, telling if this you podcast, before, podcast uh, keeps going, and like, yeah, we get some little bit of people who are into it. Yeah, I, we'll, I definitely, we'll we're going to keep doing this. This we'll, is, um, this has been cool. Send them there. Yeah, dude. Um, there was, I mentioned this before we started uh, the podcast, but there's groups even mm. where people pretend that it's a certain year. Oh, yeah. So they're yeah, like, yeah. like, there's a 2010 group. And oh, it's like, 2010. Yeah. yeah, yeah and there's yeah. a, the description is in this group, we will pretend that it's 2010. Yeah. And so anything pertaining to 2010 can be shared in the group. What, um, what about before 2010? Like, I mean, because it's still 2010. So, like, oh, that's like, a, oh, this that's song a came out last point. year. It's pretty good. I Maybe. wonder if they're going to make more yeah, stuff, yeah. knowing that they, <laughs> they fell off more or stuff. something. Or yeah, like they're know. listening to College Dropout or something uh, yeah. <laughs> from Kanye West. And they're like, oh, yeah, I wonder what his next shit's going to be, you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's a good point because okay. it probably, I haven't been in that group, but that, there's groups like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And I think that's fucking dope. Like, um, I would love to make a group with like my friends mm-hmm. even though we like i'm in a uh, snapchat snapchat group chat yeah with my high school friends yeah. and it's funny because we still bring up <laughs> shit and jokes that we did in high school you yeah, know what i mean yeah so in that sense it's funny but it'd be so cool to make a group of like even just environments like a work environment there's one particular work environment that i really enjoyed in my like um like 0809 ish area yeah and if i was to create a group with those coworkers. And we just act like we're all <laughs> in the job. Yeah. yeah. Or like, yeah. Cause there's so much funny shit that happened. Like it would be a fun group, maybe for a little while. Yeah. And then I'm we'd all get tired of, of us, it, but it'd be fun. You know what I mean? But yeah. it'd be funny for the hour that it lasted, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, cool. but yeah, that, that was a cool concept. Whoever came up with that, like the whole face. Cause like even, even pages, like when that, like when that, that is a thing, but like when it first came out and like there was pages Wait, for things, what is pages, like just pages, like um, like on Instagram, right? Like uh, there's accounts where you can go and it's only posting this. Oh yeah. Okay. And your friends follow it, like a meme meme account yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. Like a, but like a Facebook page, like yeah. there's a meme page or whatever. Ah, yeah, yeah. And you go there and like just to see that, and it's fun because you can comment and tag people that are following the same thing. Yeah. It's just yeah, but groups is it was a great idea. I think it's a cool thing. All right, I guess we're gonna uh, wrap it up. Um, we don't, we haven't named this yet, but we're gonna name it very soon. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna name it soon. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting once we post this up. Yeah, I'm um, gonna. Yeah, we'll, we'll I'll have get a name. this edited and maybe even drop tomorrow. Yeah, that Today sounds cool. Like a Sunday, but but yeah, we're gonna do this weekly. Yeah. Um, I plan on having guests from the area, just friends. Yep. Um, and family from this northern Utah area. Uh, to come on here and, and we'll just shoot the shit with them. And I like this because I meet a lot of people from out of state. Yeah. And they just have this, I don't know, perception of Utah being like a, almost like a, 
like an LDS, um, like an LDS filled Mormon filled, almost like it's um, Amish or something. Yeah. Like where we don't know anything mm-hmm. or we don't do anything outside of what you know. I mean, <laughs> the, for some aspect <laughs> we kind of don't, but no, we yeah. do. We we yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, there's yeah. just so much to it because yeah. I mean, like, and we'll get into it more as we do more episodes and podcasts and stuff. Yeah. But we didn't grow up Mormon. Nah, you know, nah. we're not Mormons, yeah. Yeah. so. We have a completely unique experience that did you know that only um like one percent of the population of Utah is, is like not Mormon? No, no. I, yeah. I, I, I wanna say it's twenty percent or something. Well it's like so there's well, I guess it's one percent evangelical Christian, right? So like it's like one percent or two percent evangelical Christian, which means like Bible believing yeah, okay, okay. Baptists okay. and stuff like that, Christian, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then you got like there's Catholics and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, like so. Even if it's twenty percent, eighty percent, so yeah, the, yeah. the huge majority yeah. is Mormon. Yeah. So we have like a unique outlook on shit. I think because we just weren't restricted by that environment. Yeah, you know, of this particular area, we have a unique outlook. So, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be do something. You, we do you do. think like okay? So uh, I saw I was driving to the hospital for uh, you know my wife um, a doctor's appointment, or whatever. And uh, on 40th Street, there was, you know, it's a nice basketball court or whatever, but there's like a black dude playing basketball, right? Mm-hmm. But there's two Mormons suited up, uh, sleeves rolled oh, up missionaries? and stuff. Yeah, missionaries, like hooping with them, right? Trying yeah. I was thinking like, can Mormons be friends with somebody without like wanting something from them? Because it's like, you know, they want to <laughs> convert this guy. That's yeah, why yeah, they're yeah. talking That's what they're doing. Him. They're trying to yeah. convert him and, and yeah. share their like, and, Mormon and with And it's like. Even if they weren't, and like you know, they probably still would play basketball with them, but they ain't gonna talk to them again. So it's right. like, can you have a Mormon, you know, genuine person that doesn't <laughs> want something from you? You know, uh, not a missionary, I don't yeah. think, <laughs> because um, that's their that's, that's their, their end goal. goal. Yeah, that's yeah, their goal. that's their to, end goal is to, to get to convert converts, them. You know, yeah, get more people in the church yeah. and like to bring them to heaven, whatever it is. Yeah, that, yeah. that they think yeah. they're you know doing right. Yeah. but yeah, but basically from. From what I know about their religion yeah. and missionaries, mm-hmm. no, they're they're yeah, not trying to be your right? friend. It's like they're they're just trying to get a member, convert membership. Yeah, like, they're trying to get a new like, church yeah. membership because they think that that's going to get them to the next level of yeah. heaven, which they believe there's like seven levels of you know yeah. the afterlife or whatever. So it's a work it's a works like a it works was, um, a works based religion, which yeah. I'm against. Yeah, it was it was cool. Like it's cool to see, but you know, it's not like full genuine. Like, no, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> says, hey, if we win, <laughs> if you can beat me and Elder Brennan over there, <laughs> if we beat you, you have to come. If to me us. and Elder Brennan beat you, we, we got to baptize you in the sink <laughs> over there at the water fountain, and then you got to come to church, brother. What do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Let's do this. Oh man. <laughs> They just practice too. They practice it all day. The church they're just ball. shooting jays in the fucking church gymnasium, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna be in Ogden, so we got to hoop. We gotta, we gotta, yeah, you gotta get your cross game, gotta, brother. They're fucking kicking soccer balls into a net too. Because what if we come across some Mexicans? Yeah. Like, hey, we let's play. And if we score a goal, uh-huh. all right, we're gonna close it there. Yeah, let's uh, close it there. All right. Um, thanks to anybody who listens. Anybody. To this. Uh, it's meant to be local. I, I really yeah. just want this to be a local thing. But if you're in fucking wherever you're not in utah you're not even in the united states and you tuned in and you're checking yeah. this out hit, hit, i appreciate hit, you hit me up um i go under raw renown so it's r-a-h and then i think it's an underscore and then r-e-n-o-w-n and what do you go by on instagram uh, let me pull up my instagram so i think it's number one rootster okay or numero uno rootster yeah so for mine the raw stands for uh rich at heart just because i I really don't care about anything other than a good person, you know, who treats people good um, and feels good. I mean, we don't feel good all the time, I guess, but like, you know, just there's a richness to people um, other than, you know, just material out, you know, outer material things, I guess. That's dope. So yeah, that's, that's what that stands for.